Hi, my name is Megret Fletcher. I'm the author of Discover Mindful Eating, and this is another installment of Frog and Bear. And today we're going to talk about eating healthy. This is a topic that's near and dear to everybody's heart. We all want our kids to eat healthy, but how do you do it? Well, I think Frog and Bear can help us. Now, eating healthy is a complex process. It's not something that you do once and you're done for. And really, Discover Mindful Eating is about creating lifelong habits so our kids are healthy eaters for the rest of their lives, not just while they're living with us. How do we do that? We understand that health is complex. We understand that healthy eating is complex. So we're going to pick little things. We're going to talk about changing and adding health and healthy foods into our diet. And we recognize that that may be different for each family, for each person. This means that frog and bear may visit us many, many, many times to discuss what healthy eating is as you explore and unpack this concept because it's different. Let me give you some examples. For some people, healthy eating might be um, having dinner together. Um, or it might be eating a wide variety of foods. That might be really, really healthy. Um, healthy eating might be choosing foods that are more nourishing to the body, meaning that they have more nutrient density. Um, we also might think about healthy eating as enjoying the foods that we eat. So focusing less on does it have vitamins and minerals? Do I like the taste? We might also talk about healthy eating as filling, but not overfilling our, our stomach. So as you can see, frog and bear could talk about a lot of things with healthy eating. In this uh, situation, bear is the one that's struggling. He's having a hard time eating healthy, and frog is going to use some good listening skills and some good coaching skills, and he is going to help frog with this behavior. So... One of the things that we always talk about in mindful eating is really checking in with our direct experience. And the first that we do that is we do a tummy check or a hunger fullness scale. If you're interested in learning more about hunger fullness scales and how to get your kid interested in them, definitely check out that video as well. One of the other offer uh, things that resources that we offer at Discover Mindful Eating is really trying to understand what healthy eating is. So in this situation, um, our hero, Bear, is going to have a hard time uh, eating healthy, and Frog is going to coach him. So let's begin. Hey, Bear, what's up? Oh, Frog, I don't know. I don't feel so good. What, what's wrong, Bear? My mom says that I don't eat well. Oh, do you have a stomach ache? No, just, I don't have, I just, I don't know. I, I don't feel so good. And my mom thinks I need more nutrition. What does that mean? Well, she thinks that we need to eat together. And, and she wants us to eat more together as a family. And she wants me to eat different foods. Sounds kind of yummy. So what's going on with that? Well, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know. I kind of like eating by myself in front of the TV. And she wants to stop doing that. Um, well, Frog, when you eat in front of the TV, what does? can you taste the food? What? I mean, what does it taste like if you're watching TV? Are you watching TV or are you eating your meal? I, I don't know, Frog. I never really thought about it. Why? Well, if I'm trying to do other things like swim and chew on my flies and stuff, I, I, I can swim or I can chew on the flies, but I can't seem to swim and chew on my flies. You know, it's kind of like walking and chewing bubble gum. I can't do two things at once. You know what, Frog? I never really thought about that. I never really thought about if I was tasting my food. Hmm. Well, you know, I heard that when we sit down together and we talk, we can learn more about my family. Like I found out the other day that Johnny, you know, my brother, 
the big bullfrog. He, anyways, he was in class and he was telling us this really, really funny story about how the kid next to him, well, I'm not going to go into it because I don't want to get anybody in trouble. But anyways, we all were cracking up and I have to tell you, my brother told a really good story. Gosh, I wish I was there. See, see, being with your family can be a lot of fun, you know? I guess. But I'm going to miss all my TV shows. Mm, gonna miss your family, too. I, I guess. I, I don't know. You know, Frog, it's just so hard. I mean, it, it, I, I'm not sure, certain. I hear you. But remember how you helped me with the new food? Remember that cauliflower incident? Yeah. Well, this is just new too. Just try it. See how you like it. You know, you might find it's not so hard. Plus, you might get to learn a couple new jokes. You might like a few new jokes. All right. I guess I can give it a try. Cool. So tell me how it goes. Did you find that you were feeling better after you ate when you ate with your family and... And and you tried new foods and di and didn't and didn't eat with all that other stuff going on. I'll let you know, frog. Thanks. Bye. Bye. You can change these stories any way you want. It might be adding in vegetables. It might be um, sitting down or cooking. But whatever healthy eating is, or however you want to define healthy eating. And a lot of times how people will define healthy eating is eating a wide variety of food, eating an amount that fills but does not overfill the body, and eating and having enjoyment when we're done eating those foods. So that might be one definition. But definitely spend some time and think about how you want to define what healthy eating is. And then use your cuddly friends like Bear and Frog to introduce the concept. And again, because eating healthy, because healthy eating is such a big concept, this is something that Frog and Bear may revisit many, many times. Thanks again for tuning in, and I hope that you can check out some of the other videos of Frog and Bear.